Hello and welcome back to Brain Zone, the channel of interesting facts and information. Arguably the most famous shipwreck in history, the Titanic continues to fascinate people of all ages. It is an event that can make us grow cold when we think of what those people went through that night. The spellbinding stories of the passengers of the ill-fated liner could fill volumes. The tragedy of the Titanic has proven to be just as horrific, as shocking, and as mysterious today as it was the night it sank. For now, we will be counting the 10 strangest facts about the Titanic. Today, we have more interesting information for you, and there's more on the way, so make sure you subscribe to our channel and click that bell icon to be notified of when we post next. Now let's begin with the 10 strangest facts about the Titanic. Number 1. The Ship Wreckage Despite the fact that the Titanic was the largest ship ever constructed at the time of sinking, it took 73 years to find its wreckage. Understandably, the ocean is vast, and even after numerous dedicated rescue missions, the public never knew where it actually rested. In the end, authorities gave up and many decades passed before the Titanic was discovered by accident. The 1985 discovery of the Titanic was from a secret United States Navy investigation of two wrecked nuclear submarines, according to the oceanographer who found the infamous ocean liner. Essentially, the discovery was part of a top-secret mission during the Cold War, and the Navy was sworn to secrecy on the matter until very recently. Number 2. Deadly Disaster It's no secret that the sinking of the Titanic was a deadly disaster, but the truth is that the vast majority of the passengers died in the wreckage. Over 1,500 people died in the maritime disaster, while 705 individuals survived. A researcher crunched the numbers, breaking down the demographics of the survivors. In this, he found that 97% of the 144 female first-class passengers were rescued, while only 32% of their 175 male counterparts were saved. Ultimately, he found male second-class passengers fared the worst in terms of survival, with only 14 out of 168 making it out alive. The total survival rate for women was 74%, while the male survival rate was only 20%. Number 3. The Titanic Sheep The Titanic was a singular ship with some crazy statistics to back it up. For example, the ship was 883 feet long, burned 805 tons of coal a day, and used more than 10,000 light bulbs. In addition, the anchor was so heavy that it took 20 horses to transport it. While the Titanic had a maximum capacity of 3,500 passengers, only roughly 2,300 were actually on board when it sank. Of these, there were 13 honeymoon couples, not a very festive way to celebrate their marriage. The lifeboats had a capacity of 65 people, though there were only 28 on the first boat. The Titanic was equipped to carry 65 lifeboats, but it only had 20 on board because they assumed they would never need them. On board, there were 1,000 bottles of wine, 40,000 fresh eggs, and an amazing 14,000 gallons of drinking water was drunk every single day. Miraculously, the Titanic received six iceberg warnings before finally colliding with a massive icy monolith. The Titanic was the largest ship in the world for its time. Number 4. Confirmation of the Titanic Splitting in Two when a research team led by Robert Ballard finally discovered the wreck in 1985, this was, of course, the first time anyone had seen the Titanic since the sinking. It actually ended a 73-year-old argument over whether or not the ship had been split in two. The ship was discovered in two pieces, confirming accounts that had been disregarded at the time of reporting the disaster. The ship was discovered in two pieces, confirming accounts that had originally been disregarded at the time of reporting the disaster. It was actually printed in the American Inquiry as being fully intact when it sank. In order to protect the White Star Line's reputation, 2nd Officer Lighttaller said that it had sank completely intact. Despite this, however, various passengers insisted they heard explosions and that the ship broke in half. They didn't necessarily see how the ship sank, but they swore it broke in two. Number 5. A Resting Bowler Hat and Half-Filled Glass According to those who explored the wreckage, one of the eeriest aspects is seeing objects that would have definitely been touched by human hands, but have stayed in the same place since their owner left them. First class passenger Henry Harper left his bowler hat in his closet next to his coats the night the Titanic sank. What is slightly unsettling, however, is that the bowler hat never quite left the closet in the sinking, but sits surrounded by the ruins of Harper's cabin, exactly as he left it. 
Another stateroom holds a glass of water and a glass decanter sitting on a washstand. The water glass still sits in its place in its holder. If it had been empty, it would have floated out of the holder and been lost somewhere, but it stays in the same spot, meaning that the patron in the stateroom had taken a drink and left it half full, and it's still there to this day. I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Make sure that you are subscribed to Brain Zone for more content in the future. Click that bell icon to be the first to know of when we post our next video. Number six, a key could have potentially saved the Titanic. In 2007, 95 years after the sinking, an ordinary key was put up for auction, which didn't seem that interesting. What does make it interesting, however, is that this key was thought to open the crow's nest locker, which contained the binoculars and equipment which could have potentially saved the Titanic from disaster. Binoculars were vital in detecting threats for liners back in the day. The owner of the key, second officer David Blair, was removed from the crew right before the Titanic set sail. And due to the haste of the change, he forgot to hand the key to his replacement, Charles Lightcaller. Since the crow's nest lookouts did not have glasses, they had to use their eyes to watch for any threats. It has been argued that if they had binoculars, they would have seen the iceberg sooner. Unfortunately, the key may never be able to unlock the full mystery of the binoculars and the Titanic. Number 7. The first Titanic movie released 29 days after the sinking. Dorothy Gibson, a popular actress at the time, acted in a movie about the sinking of the Titanic less than a month after the ocean liner sank. As if that wasn't crazy enough, Dorothy Gibson was actually a passenger on the Titanic and experienced the terrible night. Gibson did not want to appear and save from the Titanic at first, due to the horrible experience being ridiculously recent. However, the producers hounded her to do the movie, convinced that it would do very well due to its captivating story. It was completed in a week, despite Gibson having multiple breakdowns during filming, even bursting into tears during shooting. Once the film was released, it was not received well. Many critics were appalled that a studio would make a movie about one of the worst maritime tragedies in history one month after it happened. On top of that, everyone found the fact that Gibson was actually on the Titanic and went through with filming unbelievable. Number 8. A Violin and a Love Story the famous story of the musicians playing as the ship went down is one that grabs at the heartstrings. The leader of the eight musicians, Wallace Hartley, played a violin trying to help the passengers stay calm as the ship sank. In the ship's final moments, he led the band in playing the hymn, Nearer My God to Thee. Hartley went down with the ship that night. His body was recovered two weeks later with his violin strapped to him. The violin was an engagement gift for Hartley from his fiancée. Engraved on the violin are the words, For Wallace, on the occasion of our engagement, from Maria. The violin was found in an attic by a woman's son in 2006. It was in a case marked WHH. The violin has been passed from house to house during the years. In March 2013, it was announced that it was Wallace Hartley's violin that he played the night the Titanic went down. The violin was then returned to his grieving fiance, who never married. Number 9. A Cancelled Emergency Drill On April 14th, the day the Titanic struck the iceberg, an emergency lifeboat drill had, ironically, been scheduled. Due to reasons unknown, the drill was cancelled by Captain Smith. If the drill had gone through, many more lives could have potentially been saved. The passengers would have been much more likely to have followed proper protocol and procedure in loading the lifeboats. Number 10. The Youngest Person On Board Eliza Gladys Novena Dean was a British civil servant cartographer and the last survivor of the sinking of the RMS Titanic. At two months old, she was also the youngest passenger on board. Her parents had decided to leave for England for America, with her father having family in Kansas, and they hoped to open a tobacco shop. The Danes were not chosen to be aboard the Titanic, but because of a coal strike, they were transferred to the ship and boarded it as third-class passengers at Southampton. The father felt a crunch of the ship's collision with the iceberg on the night of the 14th, went up to investigate. Then he returned to the cabin, telling his wife to dress the children and go up on deck. Though she doesn't remember it, Dean and her mother and siblings survived while her father perished in the tragic accident. 
As soon as Dean reached the shore, reporters crowded her, hoping to snap a photo of a Titanic infant. Almost 100 years later, she passed away at her senior home in England. So these were our 10 strangest facts about the Titanic. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe so you can join the Brain Zone squad and be a part of our channel. Thanks for watching.